What's up YouTube? Uh, coming at you today with another video. This one's going to be just uh, talking about my Blade Show Experience 2014 and showing you guys some of the stuff I picked up. Uh, first of all, I was honored to be invited down uh, by KME Sharpeners to be an exhibitor and teach sharpening with them and talk sharpening with people and, and uh, demonstrate the KME Sharpener. So you guys know I'm passionate about sharpening and uh, get great results with my KME. So that was a real honor. Uh, the whole team was just really nice people. Uh, Ron, the owner, got to meet him in person finally. Um, Mike, his brother, uh, Ron's son, Kyle, and then uh, Mike's wife, Carla. Just all a pleasure to be around, pleasure to, to work with people, and fun to uh, talk sharpening with all of them. So that was a, a big honor to be invited. We got in, uh, as an exhibitor, we got in Thursday to set up our booth. And that was pretty fun to walk around the show without a big crowd. Uh, of course, a lot of stuff wasn't set up yet, but a lot of stuff was too. So that was exciting. And then uh, just nonstop uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, meeting people, talking sharpening, uh, walking around the booths when I did get a chance. And I, as, as you've probably seen, I put up a few videos already of some of the stuff that I did check out. But... Um, I'll just go through some of the stuff here real quick, and then I'll talk about all the people I got to meet. That was that was great fun as well. But so, uh, first of all, KME hooked me up uh, for lapping my water stones. Got a two-sided DMT diamond stone here that is larger than the 1x4 stones, so that'll work out great. Uh, I also got a cowhide strop that was a gift from Ron, and uh, loaded it up with some 4.5 micron uh, paste, CBN paste that he had, he's trying out. So this is a real nice thick cowhide strop. It has an aluminum base, little rubber feet. Very, very nice. And then also from Ron, uh, this 1000 grit ceramic bench stone. This is one of my favorite KME stones. And uh, this is a bench version of it, real nice thick. Ceramics are great, and this 1000 leaves just a fantastic edge. Uh, met the EDC spray guys and uh, picked up their new formula. I've had the green formula in the past, and uh, it works okay, and, and I was excited to see they have something stronger, and it's also not only a protection this time, but it also lubricates. So you spray this kind on and just leave it and let it air dry, and... Uh, you're good to go the next day. But it's vegetable oil based, food safe, and actually has a pleasant smell to it. Uh, came with a microfiber cloth too. I don't have that here, but got to meet them. And uh, let's see, picked up a headlamp. I showed this off on Instagram. This is the Army Tech uh, Tiara Silver Pro. And it's a real nice uh, uh, light. It's rechargeable on 14500s, or you can run it on a single uh, AA lithium and it comes with the headset but you can also take it off these rings are just rubber and you can take that off and carry it in your pocket it comes with a pocket clip so I was able to pick that up from Going Gear and Going Gear is a, uh, a gear website and store and they happen to be like three miles from the Blade Show in Atlanta but Marshall does their videos over there and I always watch his flashlight reviews so when I saw him at the booth uh, I talked to Marshall directly and said, hey, which headlamps would you recommend? And he recommended three, and based on my needs and wants, I picked that one up. And then uh, Kyle, over in the Going Gear booth, checked me out and gave me a couple of their cool patches. So I picked those up as well. Uh, picked up a Monkey's Edge patch, since I can't afford any of the knives they sell. thought that was a pretty cool patch. And then Attleboro was selling these uh, Warriors Promise Foundation patches, and the proceeds go to the Warriors Promise Foundation. So I snagged two of those. <clears throat> and then the, one of the new Maxpedition pouches, the Live Free or Die, that's the, uh, the rubbery PVC style. And then picked up the Don't Tread on Me camouflage rattlesnake patch. Uh, then we have the knives. Picked up the Benchmade H2O. Uh, N680 steel, nitrogen based, shouldn't rust. Uh, it's not as rust proof as Spyderco's H1, but you can heat treat this so it has a much better Rockwell 
and edge holding capability. Kind of a bull nose there, so watch for a video on this one. Thought this was pretty cool, something I've been looking at for a while. And then I saw the Emerson Kershaws, and this is the CQC6. Saw these over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works booth and thought I would check these out. Uh, looked at all four of them, or four or five, I can't remember how many models they have, but this is the uh, CQC6 satin two-tone stone washed in satin kind of a dark background today but these are really nice I was very impressed got to pick through you know three or four of them and this one had a real strong detent and was nicely centered so I went with this one and the fit and finish is uh, as good or better than Emerson so they've done a fantastic job with them I did see my buddy the smoking ape though he tried to switch his pocket clip to left hand carry and the screws would not reach past the scale and into the steel so don't know if the uh, these two combined must be thicker you know this this is going just through the pocket clip depth so anyway there might be some bugs they are brand new but they're doing a nice job on them and then the uh, shirt you see here primal primal gear unlimited that was a, a couple I met just real nice folks uh, Georgia natives and we were sitting outside talking about kayaking and whitewater and everything else and then he showed me this bushcraft knife he's making well it's technically he's calling it a survival knife but anyway it's a uh, uh, really sweet knife he's designed it with sort of an all-around use in mind I'm gonna definitely have some videos coming up on this bad boy love that uh, dark stone wash or acid wash all right and then the uh, one you guys might have seen on Instagram that I picked up was a new Guardian tactical this is the mini auto helix and they had quite a few different knives to show off and this one was just calling me that gorgeous two-tone blade nice machining cut out here just looks great fires super hard uh, possibly the first automatic knife on bearings. Uh, they're not aware of any others. Which they do make the Ratworks knife that won People's Choice Award. And that, of course, is also on bearings. That's a collaboration, and Ratworks makes the bearings for Guardian Tactical. So they were like booth by booth and uh, in cahoots, as they say. So, just had a great time overall. Uh, met lots of great people, lots of great knife companies that I own a knife or two of theirs. I got to see uh, finally all their knives in person and, and hold some of them and check them out. Um, some of those are Pole Force, met Phil, met Deepmar Pole, met Sylvia, uh, the whole team over there. Uh, Guardian Tactical, met Sue and the guys. Um, Millet, met Shane and, and his buddy was there that also works for Millet. Uh, Bill Koenig was there with Koenig Knives, uh, Freeman Outdoor Gear, got to meet Jeff Freeman, uh, the whole Attleboro team was there, met the Lion Steel team, uh, met the Aegis guys, or Aegis, however you say it, and then uh, I saw a lot of famous knife makers just, just, you know, making their way around or when I was walking by their table or whatever, saw a lot of guys that I recognized there, uh, met a lot of fellow YouTubers, met Dino, uh, must have been at least 10 or 15 people I met over at the KME booth that, uh, you know, we, we got to talking and we either knew each other from Instagram or YouTube, so that was great fun. And just pretty much overwhelming. I, I was there, uh, like I've said, with the KME guys, so I couldn't, you know, get away and just walk the show for hours, but they were very good about letting me just go check things out. And so I did get to go check out some of the production knife booths I didn't even really make it over through the customs. Uh, number one, I just couldn't afford any. And number two, uh, just didn't have the time. But you could definitely spend all three days and still not see everything. Uh, it was great fun. I did get a lot of stickers and catalogs and magazines that you don't see here. But I uh, just wanted to do a video and show these things off real quick and just say thanks to everybody that I met down there and thanks to KME for taking me down. It's a great time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you make it next year. I'll be there.